When Randall Tarly answers a summons to King's Landing by Cersei Lannister, her brother Jaime Lannister reminds Randall that he was the only man who defeated Robert Baratheon in battle, something Rhaegar ultimately failed to do at the cost of his own life. Daenerys tells Jon that both Viserion and Rhaegal were named for her deceased brothers, neither of them yet aware that Rhaegar was secretly Jon's biological father, or that this means Jon is really her nephew. At the Citadel in Old Town, Gilly is reading through the private diary of the High Septon during Robert's rebellion, and points out an entry to Samuel Tarly saying that the High Septon clandestinely gave Rhaegar an annulment from Aelia Martell, then married him to someone else in a secret ceremony in Dawn. At the time, Samwell doesn't know the significance of this discovery. Samwell and Gilly subsequently leave Old Town, and later arrive in Winterfell. Sam meets with Bran Stark, who informs Sam that he has learned from his visions that Jon isn't really Eddard Stark's son, but the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. Bran thinks this means Jon's name is not Snow, but Sand, the special surname used for highborn bastards born in Dawn. Samwell replies that Sand is not Jon's name and, realizing the significance of the High Septon's diary entry about Rhaegar's secret second marriage, tells Bran that Rhaegar and Lyanna were married. He asks the skeptical Bran if he can use his powers to check what really happened. Using his green sight, Bran looks back through time again to see the secret wedding of Rhaegar and Lyanna in front of a weirwood heart tree. With joy in her eyes, Lyanna lovingly kisses Rhaegar. Stunned, Bran explains to Sam that Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Rhaegar didn't kidnap and rape Lyanna, she loved him. Their secret marriage also means that Jon Snow is, in fact, Rhaegar's lawful son, and the real rightful heir to the Iron Throne, ahead of Rhaegar's younger sister Daenerys. Bran then finally recalls Jon's birth name, which Lyanna whispers to Ned Stark with her dying breath, Aegon Targaryen.